so today I'm here with my July haul, and I got a lot of stuff this month, and I'm really excited to kind of share it all with you. But before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that the winners of my fling ring giveaway um, are picked or whatever, and I will have them as an annotation right now, I guess, and I will be contacting them as soon as this video is uploaded, I'll be messaging them. And if you guys do not reply in two days, I will be contacting another person because I want to send these out by Monday. So yeah, I'm going to get started. So the first place I went in July was Bath and Body Works, and they were having a really, really nice sale while I was there. So I got five of their little mini hand sanitizers because I've been really wanting some. So I got five of them. The first one I got, I think it's from like a college, like back to school kind of um, collection because it doesn't look the way the other ones do. It's got this really cute kind of packaging to it. And this is in Strawberry Splash and it has glitter in it, not like the regular beads. Um, but it smells really, really good. So that's pretty much why I got it. So I got this one, which I've been using. Then I got um, Fresh Lavender, which these all have the beads in them. This is Fresh Lavender. Um, cinnamon Heaven, which smells like cinnamon buns with icing. It's really, really good. I love, like, the baked good scents. I really like those a lot. And then I got two of the Fresh Market Apples because apples are, like, my favorite scent ever. And then I also got this C.O. Bigelow Apple Rose Salve um, because I really like the packaging. I thought it would smell really good because of apples and things like that. But... It has, a, like, a really artificial smell to it. Like, it doesn't smell that good. But I still love it because I love apple rose. I, like, I love rose salves. And this is really, really good if um, you haven't tried it before. It's really good for your face, your lips, cuticles, elbows, and knees. It's just really good at moisturizing those areas. So, yeah. So... Oh, sorry. Fan. Anyway, so the next place I went that day was Claire's. And I got a few things there as well. I got this... Whoops. This 13-inch pearl necklace because I've been wanting a pearl necklace for a while and I thought this one was adorable. It was only like $12 or $10, I think. But I just really wanted a pearl necklace, so I got this one. And it's like easily replaceable, so it's not like super expensive and if it breaks, I'm pretty much out of luck. And then I got three pairs of earrings. The first ones I got are these pearls with like diamonds all around them. I think these are really, really cute. I got these ones that hang like weird. I don't know. I don't like the way they look on me. I think they would look better like with a fancy dress, but I haven't been able to like pull them off regular, regularly every day. But they hang like this, and they're hard, so they have kind of like cutouts. They're really, really cute, actually. And then I got these hoops that hang like this, and they're not really like legit perfect circles. They're kind of like cut out in areas because they're supposed to be like thorns and like branches with like um, flowers and stuff. They're really cute. And then also that day we went to Ulta. We went to like um really nice mall, so yeah. Then we went to Ulta, and I got three nail polishes from OPI. The first one is in Alpine Snow, which is just a really nice white. I just wanted a basic white color because, I don't know, just for like um, decorating and things like that. So I have Alpine Snow. I got Jade is the New Black, which is a really nice kind of deep green color. I think this will be perfect for like the fall and the winter. It's really, really nice. And then I just got the Black Shatter because I've been wanting it for a while. So if you don't, if you don't know what Black Shatter is, you basically put like, say, a white nail polish on Oops, drop that, sorry. A white nail polish on and then just put the shatter over it and it kind of just breaks apart the nail polish and looks really, really cute actually. But I don't like it on all my nails. I only like it like on one. So I got those. And then um, we go to Walmart every week on Sundays for grocery shopping. So I always try to like find something that, that I can try. So I was watching Megan Rosette's video on um, Stemless Tanners. So I saw this one that she was mentioning. It's the Jergens Natural Globe Express Body Moisturizer. Jumpstart natural looking color in just one day. And I got it in the fair to medium skin tones. And this is the fast formula. So this basically works in like a week. But I think I should have gotten a darker color because I thought I was like pale. But I guess I'm not because it did nothing for me. Like it made me a little bit darker but it didn't make me like super tan like I wanted. So I got this and I used it all up in pretty much a week. Like it looks full. It's really not, I promise you. So I got that. So last week when we went, I got a couple of the um, regular like moisturizers. I got the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. This is in the medium to tan skin tones. So I got this one to use every single day. And I also got the Jergens Natural Glow Healthy Complexion Daily Face Moisturizer because I thought these would be perfect for, you know, skin and face or body and face, but if you're looking for the um, face one, when I was watching Megan Rosette's video, she mentioned this, and like I was looking for this really small bottle, and I couldn't find it, it comes in a box, and I saved the box for you guys, it just looks like this, so if you're looking for the small one, it does come in a box, so I hope that helped, <laughs> and then I went to PacSun the other day, because I wanted a shirt for Warped Tour, if you guys don't know, I went to Warped Tour on Wednesday, I went in Virginia Beach, and it was absolutely amazing, but I'll tell you a little bit about it later, but um, 
I wanted a shirt for it, so I went to Paxson, I saw this on clearance, it was like $6, and it's from the brand Check and Stripe, and before I show you, it's a little dirty because I haven't done laundry yet, but it's this crop top v-neck, and it's like a really kind of deep v, it's really cute, it's a nice kind of blue color, and it's a box crop top, so I love it to death, and it was really nice, it was very thin, so it didn't feel like, I didn't feel sweaty at all the entire time, so I really like this. So, the last things I'm going to show you are from Warped Tour, I did go um, two days ago, and it was absolutely amazing, like, I can't even like have pictured a better time um, anywhere. I went with Brian, his brother Jason, and then all of our friend Peyton, or all of our friend, friend, like all of us, me, Brian, and Jason's friend, Peyton, okay, that made no sense. But yeah, so we went, and um, it was, it was so much fun, like, I can't even describe it, I was so happy, I was sweating a lot, so I'm pretty sure I lost a couple pounds, and I drank so much water, it was like incredible, but um, we had a mosh pit start right next to us, that was kind of scary, because I've never been like punched, so I was kind of like, Phew. and then um, all three of them went crowd surfing, which I thought was cool, they have all went during Devil Wears Prada, and I think Brian went during Asking Alexandria, and um, they were all really, really excited about that, I didn't get a go because I had all my stuff, and like I had to watch all their stuff, I felt like a mom, but it was really fun just to watch them, and then uh, Simple Plan was there, and they were singing Addicted, or the lead singer was singing Addicted, and he pointed right at me, and I'm pretty sure my heart stopped, it was absolutely amazing, and All Time Low was there, and I didn't think they were supposed to be there, but that was really, really fun. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you the stuff I got. I didn't get anything like band merch because I really didn't want to spend $20 on a t-shirt, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I did get enough condoms, though, to last me a lifetime, to be honest. Um, they had a Trojan booth, and we kept having to walk past here to get to, to different stages, and they just kept throwing, like, condoms at us. So that was exciting. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the stuff that I got from Warp Tour. So... Basically, the van's tent was having a sale, or not a sale, they were having, like, buy a t-shirt for $10, get a free hat, so I did that a couple times, and I gave Brian his hat, but I got this hat. It's one of the, like, chucker ones, and I just got a blue one because it was the only one I really liked. They didn't have, like, a plain white one, so I was like, I'll just get the blue one. And so the shirt I got with that was this white, um, tank top, which looks like this, and it's from... Next Level Apparel, and it says Vans on it, and has like a mustache, and I thought it was really, really cute, so I got that, and then when I got my second shirt, I gave Brian the hat, so maybe you'll see it, I don't know, but the other shirt I got was this one from Vans, and it's this black crop top, and it says Vans on it in white, it's really, really cute, and then we stopped at this one tent, I don't remember the band's name, they're, they weren't playing, they were like an up-and-coming band, I think they're called Young Blood, but forgive me for if that's wrong, but they kind of, like their t-shirts like called my name, because they said like, you know, you'll see in a minute. So we went over there and he made us listen to his music and then he was like, well, if you get the shirt, it's $25 and then you guys can have two CDs. And we were like, whatever. Like, I just, I was like, whatever. Like, I'm so nice. Like, I feel so bad if I don't buy, like, band stuff. So they, Brian and Peyton got the um, CDs and I got the shirt because I really wanted it. And it's this red um, tank top and it says, get naked on it. And it's just like... <laughs> It totally called me, like, <laughs> it really did, but, um, while we were there, he also stamped, like, a purple stamp on us, and, like, by the time the day was over, it, like, melted through my skin, so it looked like I got punched in the arm, but, yeah, so that's everything I got in July, thank you guys so much for watching, sorry, like, I rambled on, but, um, yeah, please subscribe if you're not already, and, yeah, bye guys.